today the topic of discussion is introduction to sql so before starting sql we'll discuss the introduction part of sql that why we study sql use of sql and different commands of sql let's start with introduction to sql what is sql and what can sql do there are two different questions so let's start answering one by one sql stand for structured query language first part SQL lets you to access and manipulate database. So with the help of SQL, you can access the database and manipulate the database. That is, you can make changes to the database. SQL became standard of the American National Standard Institute, ANSI, in 1986 and of International Organization of Standard, ISO, in 1987. So these were what is SQL. Now, what can SQL do? Fine. SQL can execute queries against the database. Fine. With the help of SQL, you execute queries against the created database. SQL can retrieve data from the database. Fine. With the help of SQL, you can retrieve the data from the database. SQL can insert record in the database. Very true. SQL with the help of SQL, you can insert record in the database. You can update. SQL can update record in the database. Fine. SQL can delete record from the database. Very fine. SQL can create new database. Exactly true. With the help of SQL, you can create a new database. And then SQL can create new tables in the database. And SQL can create stored procedure in the database. With the help of SQL, you create stored procedure. For example, triggers, cursors, uh, procedures. These are what stored procedures. Fine. And SQL can create views in the database. With the help of SQL, you can create views also. You will study each and everything clearly. Okay. Then SQL can set permission on the tables, procedures and views. Now it's a time of giving permissions that who can access my table who can access my procedure and who can access my views so sql with the help of sql you can give permission you can actually you have access you can give access to which user you want to give the access okay so let's move further uh, these sql commands are mainly categorized into five categories uh, the sql commands are actually categorized into five categories what are those categories ddl data definition language very important first category is ddl data definition language second is data query language second is data query language dql then third is dml data manipulation language fourth is data control language dcl important very important dcl i'll explain you which and every uh, of these uh, commands uh, separately but just try what are the, these five categories just see what are these and the last is transaction control language tcl fine so there are five categories of sql one is ddl data definition language one is dql data query language one is dml data manipulation language one is dcl data control language and one is tcl transaction control language let's see each one and what are different queries falls under these categories see this so these are sql commands okay so these are sql commands and see the see the categories first is ddl data definition language when we talk of structures when we talk of structure when we work on structure of table that is we can create table we can drop table we can change values of table and we can truncate we can truncate the values in the table so when we talk of structures so we use this ddl command first is create then drop then alter and then truncate fine okay then comes data manipulation language dml you are manipulating a data how you can manipulate by inserting by updating by deleting you are manipulating a existing data so this is these are dml commands fine then comes dcl data control language then there are two commands basically two commands grant and revoke there could be many but basically two grant and revoke grant means giving permission giving permission suppose i have given permission to someone to access data someone to access a table then by give by using grant i give the permission and revoke revoke is i i take back i take permission back i take back i take permission back so I, I, if, if suppose 
uh, some employee joined to my organization and I'm giving a permission to access my database, I'll, I'll do it by grant. And suppose if he leaves, if he leaves the organization, I'll revoke all the permissions. Fine. I'll revoke all the permission I've given to him. So by using grant and revoke, I can do this. Then comes TCL, transaction control language. What transaction generally do? It commits once every operation of transaction is completed what it does it does it it does commit operation then rollback why rollback if suppose some of the operation of the transaction has not been completed then what we'll do we'll roll back and save point is the point from where we can start recheck this is just these are safe points generally used uh, for debugging of our code fine then comes last dql do dql uh, the the command which comes under dql is select select fine so these are few uh, bifurcation these are few different parts of sql commands and what are different uh, commands used under these commands fine so thank you so much for